are the number of them which were sealed. Right. And there were sealed and hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So only the Israelites is going to be the ones that make it into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? These other people, they're going to get destroyed in Babylon the Great. They're going to come back as slaves, being born in the kingdom of heaven. You know, you got 144,000 of the prophets, teachers, right? Then you got the one third of the one third of the Anybody want to jump in? Y'all want to say something? Jump in. Y'all want to say something? Um, just about to get the Luke chapter 2. You got the Luke chapter 2. I believe, I believe, just to add on, I believe it's Jehovah's Witnesses. I believe they teach that the 144,000 is uh, 12,000 of uh, different people on the earth. Right. But it's just to uh, really tell you that 144,000 are all going to come out of the nation of the children of Israel. That's yeah. right. They go through the 12 tribes. But they got that New World Translation where they try to rewrite the Bible, you know, yeah. which they going off. But Jehovah's Witnesses, man, you know, everybody know they, they going off. Scripture say go not house to house. Is that a group? Um, well, let the brother do this and we'll transition to that. Zechariah 13. Zechariah 13, verse 8. Now this is going to back up. Verse 9 is going to back up that there's a one third of Israel, not just the 144,000. Go ahead, brother. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two thirds of all Israelites gonna get destroyed, no matter how good you look. Right. You're gonna still get destroyed. Beauty can't buy you salvation. Go ahead, bro. But the third shall be left therein. Right, the third is gonna be left. That's the one third. Keep going. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Right. And will refine them as silver is refined. You're gonna come through the fire of adversity, right? The fire of affliction. And then in the end, the nuclear fire. You're gonna get saved out of that fire. Go ahead. And we'll try them as gold is tried. Right. How do you try gold? You heat up the fire under it, and you purify, you melt it down, take the impurities out, right? But the most I said is the children of Israel are comparable to fine gold. So what? You gotta turn the pressure up, get rid of all the sinners of Israelites, and then save the elect. They will come through as gold tried in the fire. Read that again. And I will bring the third part through the fire uh -huh. and will re refine them as silver is refined. Right, same process with silver, you refine it. Go ahead. And will try them as gold is tried. Mm -hmm. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. Uh-oh, they will call on my name, see? All the tribes of the church of Israel are getting sealed in their foreheads, going back to Revelation 7. Go ahead. I will say, it is my people. So the most high, when, when he hears his name coming out, he gonna say, hey, they, how do they know my name? It's my people, right? Go ahead. And they shall say, the Lord is my power. That's right. They're going to say, the Lord is my God. The Lord is my power. You know, like as we're saying, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has an elect that's going to be saved. All the rest of it, the inhabitants of Babylon will get destroyed. They're going to get destroyed. No Babylon. Psalms 19 started verse 1. Right, so when we go back to Isaiah 62 and 6 and other scriptures that we read, how is it, like the brother said, the unicorn is doing all the heavy lifting. It's right here in the scripture. Go ahead. That Psalms 19 verse 1 says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his hand handiwork. Day unto day, day unto day utter, starting from the top, verse 2. Day, un day unto day utter speaks, and night unto night show of knowledge. All right, day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. It's going to describe it. Go ahead. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. How is that possible? No speech nor language where our voice is not heard. In Matthew 24, I think 14, it says, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness. And then shall the end come, right? This is how it's being accomplished. Read that again. There is, there is no speech. Nor language, where their voice is not heard. Right, go ahead. Their line is going out through all the earth. Their line is going out through all the earth. Go ahead. And their words to the end of the world. So how is that possible? We stand on the coast, on the, uh, on the east coast, on the west coast, and yell real loud and people all across the world going to hear our voice? Of course not. There's something that's going to aid us in doing that. It said their line is going out through all the earth, and their words are heard to the ends of the world. Now the Savior said, you shall have not gone over the cities of Judah, to the Son of Man become. So we're not gonna have to go to physically to every place, but the gospel will be heard in every place. Be it a unicorn or as you would say, the internet. Go ahead. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Right, you good right there. 
I also go to Romans, uh, I think it's chapter 10. So as we know, the internet is aiding and it's waking up the children of Israel all over the earth where the word of the Most High is waking them up. But the internet is helping. I have also um, 2 Exodus chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Nevertheless, as concerning the token, and tokens are examples or signs, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Right? And it said, but iniquity shall be increased above that, above that which now thou seest, all that thou hast heard long ago. That, that is really but hey, even with that, that's one of the end time signs too. Wickedness increasing on the earth. You got that in Revelation? I mean, uh, Revelation. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read that for a while. Oh, you know what? I got it. I got it. Right? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Uh, second Exodus chapter 6 and verse 20, it says, And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. Then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together. So the book is the Holy Bible. The firmament is the heavens and they gonna, the people on the earth are gonna be able to see it all together at the same time. People on the other side of the world can click on the, on the video any time of the day and they can get this knowledge. That's the spirit of the Lord working in the earth bringing forth what? The Israelite foreigners from all over the earth. Go ahead, bro. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, right. and hearing by the word of God. That's right, hearing by the word, and that faith coming through the word, being broadcast all over the earth through the internet. Go ahead. But I say, have they not heard? Huh? Yes, barely. Their sound went into all the earth, right. and their words unto the ends of the world. Backing up everything we read. Their sound went into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. You see? That's the Lord doing that. No man can take credit for what the Most High is doing in the last days. You know, we all just vessels, me and you. You know, happily so. You got Baruch too, right? This is Baruch, chapter 4, verse 37. Lo, thy sons come, thy sons come, who thou sentest away. Right. They come gathered together from the east to the west, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. Right, thy sons come and gather, read that again, bro, by the word of the Holy One. Lo, thy sons come, who thou sentest away. Right. They come gathered together from the east to the west, by the word of the Holy One, right. rejoicing in the glory of God. Now, we was having a brief discussion. That word of the Lord is going out. You see the increase of the views in all the videos, right? Why? Because the, the sons and daughters of Israel are coming forth to that knowledge. They're coming in feet and they're being, they're being awakened. That awareness is there. Daniel 12 will be read, you know? The children of Israel in every place are starting to notice and hear that word of the Lord. Those dry bones are being raised up. Also, go to the Luke 5. Another one in 5, too. Down in the, in the land of verses, like the land the verses of the land of the roof five and five. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about toward the east. And behold, thy children gather from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, right. rejoicing in the remembrance right. of Yahweh. Baruch 5, verse 5. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about toward the east. That's right. And behold thy children, gathered from the west unto the east, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of God. Right, the Lord is telling his people, Jerusalem, to be a place. What? To a wrath. Right. Okay, to be a wrath. They need to gather themselves by what? To hear that word. Like Go on to slavery, devil. You ain't gonna be able to get out of it. That's why the Lord made you a waiter. Right. The Lord has gathered his by what? The hearing that word. Like the brother Rose and Romans. He said, 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 He said
none of us being gathered in this latter days. We're remembering who we are as a people. Or nobody else. We're remembering. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and what's part of putting on our strength, man? Hey, uh, this word, man. Th this word is also just to prove our strength, man. The words of the Lord, man. And put faith in your high body down with that. Okay? Go ahead. Put on thy beautiful garment, the holy city, where his court there shall be no more.